My name is Dr Laura Bailey and I'm a senior lecturer in English Language and Linguistics at the University of Kent. I'm making this uh, series of videos about getting ready to come and study with us. So in each video I'll tell you a bit about what I'm up to and I'll give you one of my top tips um, so you can see my previous videos in my channel and of course you can like and subscribe. This week I've got a bonus tip for you. Do as little as you feel like during the summer holidays. Um, if you're bored of having nothing to do and you want some mental stimulation, well then that's great. That's what this tip's about. But equally, if you feel like you've been really pressured and you've had to work really hard and you just need some time off, then do that. Just maybe the best thing you can do for yourself over the summer is just to do nothing at all. Just read some trashy fiction, sit in the sun, watch some Netflix, relax. Um, that is entirely up to you. This week I've been working on data collection. Um, as well as teaching our classes, a major part of a lecturer's job is to do research. And that means that for you, the people teaching you are working at the cutting edge of research in their field. And in fact, what you're learning might well be based on your lecturer's own research. Right now, my own research is about the acceptability or otherwise of certain non-standard grammatical constructions. Um, so I've got two different research projects on the go. They've both simultaneously reached a point where I need to run a survey asking people for their judgments on lots of sentences of this type. So the first one is about sentences like I'm going work versus I'm going straight work versus I'm going straight to work, which is the standard form. So whether you need the two or not, because not everybody does. Um, so the project is one of my summer internships, and that's something that our undergraduate students can sign up for if they want to. The other project that I'm doing right now is about the so-called because X construction. So when you say something like because patriarchy in a sort of general sweeping statement um, of an explanation of something that isn't really an explanation. It's just a kind of, oh, you know, sort of statement. Um, and this contrasts with the more standard form because of the patriarchy where you have of in there. Um, so this one is for a paper that I'm co-authoring with one of our former students, actually. Um, so the first project is about a type of language usage that's defined by region and by class to some extent. The second one is about a particular register, so a context of use and basically what we call internetese, or sometimes we call it that anyway. Um, but both of them can be, be investigated with the same method, this survey, and that means that I've got to juggle both studies, not get mixed up about what method goes with what survey and which items belong with which one and so on. So that's what I've been working on when I'm not doing exam boards and marking at the moment. My recommendation for this week is about study skills. I think we often believe that you should just know how to study, like you've been doing it just fine so far for the last 13 years or whatever, and you obviously know how to do it, but it's actually not true. Studying is a skill that we need to learn and we need to practice in itself. Um, and it's also true that uni is a little bit different from anything that you've done before. So if you're joining us after some time in a career, then you might feel like your learning brain might be a bit rusty. That's a, a worry that people often have, you know, if you haven't written an essay for 10 years or something like that. Um, or if you're coming to us straight from doing A-levels or some other kind of um, further education qualification or college, then you might find that it's um, a step up perhaps in terms of what you're learning. You might find you've got a lot more autonomy than you had before. Um, and all of these things can uh, make, make it feel very different. So this is an opportunity. It's a really good opportunity to find out what works best for you. Not everybody is the same. And you shouldn't just go along with, without thinking about it, without finding out what's gonna be the best thing to suit your own style and your own preferences. So this summer's maybe a really good time to brush up and learn some new things. So there are lots and lots of study skills books out there. Um, there's a ton of advice for free on the internet as well, so happy Googling. Um, but if you don't know what to look for, I think it can be a bit overwhelming. So for that reason, I personally think that a general purpose study skills book is a good one to begin with, the one that's aimed at beginning university students. So I really like this book by Stella Cottrell, um, published by Palgrave. Um, it's in its fifth edition now, um, so you can buy it new or you can pick up an older edition very cheaply secondhand, um, and of course libraries will have it. So the reason why I like this one is that as well as kind of practical learning tools that you can use, it helps you to think about what kind of a student you are and how to get the most out of your course. Those are really important questions. What do you want from this and how are you going to get it? Um, and this 
particular book includes exercises that you can do um, to practice the skills that she talks about, as well as theory, strategies, and just lots and lots of information. This really isn't a paid ad, I just really like this book and I think it's a really good one. So if you spend a little bit of time this summer with a book like this, it might just help you to get your university career, your degree, off to a flying star in the autumn. So that's my tip for this week. If you want to find me on Twitter, I'm Linguist Laura. I also have a blog about language, which is linguistlaura.blogspot.com. You can find our department on Twitter and Instagram at Kent E L L Yeah. And we have a Facebook page. And of course, you can go to kent.ac.uk to find out more information about studying at Kent and about our department and all of my lovely colleagues as well. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next video.